Ooh, it is sunny all of a sudden. Jeez, why does it look like that? Let me back up a little bit. Hello, everybody. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. I haven't done a lot of live streams from like around the, you know, like not at home in front of the red sofa. So I'm going to do my best to just give you a little tour of the cabin here. And uh, can anybody write uh, if you can see me and you can hear me okay, and if like the way it's set up is okay, or if I should flip the telephone around or something, is anybody even here? I am here. Hi, Nurse Betty. Oh, okay, good. Now I'm seeing some comments. Nurse Betty, Heiko, Bia, everybody's here. Great. Thank you so much. So here's our cabin. Uh, we got on board the ship, actually. Our check-in time today was at 10 in the morning. So we've been on the ship already almost all day because it's six o'clock in the evening right now. The check-in um, where we where we put our or you know where we like gave up our bags was set was basically right next to where the non yacht club passengers also put their bags. You know, like give up their bags. I don't know why I'm having a, such a hard time formulating that. The place where you give up your bags in the yacht club is right next to where everybody else does but there's a separate like tent over it then we were brought to a very fancy lounge uh, to wait and got our covid tests done so we had to wait for the covid test to be uh, confirmed or you know to confirm that we were negative before we were brought on the ship we were given our fancy bracelets can you see this these are the tracking bracelets that everybody has to wear on board now uh, so this isn't specific to the Yacht Club, but uh, everybody has to wear these now. And actually, it it is electronic, so there's a... I have to hold the phone now, so I can't do it. But when you press this little button, can you see? A little light goes on on it to confirm that it's actually on. And we uh, we came on board and we had a little, like, a welcome drink in the lounge, which I won't be able to show you in this video, uh, and walked around the ship. We got to move into our cabin basically right away. So they made an announcement much later in the afternoon that the cabins were ready on board. So uh, yeah, we basically, yeah, we got to the port shortly past 10. I think the thing that took the longest was just waiting for our COVID tests to go through. And then we were on the ship and in our cabin really, really quickly. And this is the cabin. If you want to look around a little bit let me uh flip the camera here and guess what you're gonna get to see marcus so to all the people who are here right now live there he is that's him so this is the balcony it's not a huge balcony it goes from there to there and that is part of Genova. The interesting part of the city is actually on the other side of the ship, but I can show you here. Here's our little couch. The snacks that we got today were fruit and biscuits, and we've been munching on those all day. There's the bed. I did take a nap this afternoon, so it's kind of been moved around a little bit. That's not how, uh, you know, how it's made by our butler. Our butler is, uh, her name is Camila, and she's been here several times to help us out with things. Um, in here is like the dishes and snacks and stuff like that. There is a mini bar, and there is, as far as alcohol goes, there's beer in here. And there is not uh, like the little bottles of vodka and things like that. You can order big bottles. It costs extra. Or you can just go to the bar in the yacht club or have the waitress or waiter butler bring anything you want. <laughs> Check this out. We brought every like half empty bottle of sun cream that we had and are going to try to use it on this trip. So I know it looks like we're, you know, like sponsored by sun cream but we just grabbed every half em half empty bottle and are trying to get rid of them uh, this is the big long like counter space and here you can get uh, an idea of 
how big the cabin is. It's just a little bit bigger than a normal balcony cabin. I would say a normal balcony cabin probably ends like about here. So all this space is what makes it a little bit bigger. And uh, here is sort of like the, I don't know if you want to call it a walk-in closet. So this is also kind of an extra space compared to a normal ship or a normal balcony cabin. Morgan approved bathroom door. And the bathroom is just slightly larger than in a normal balcony cabin on the Grandiosa. You can see it has marble. This is real marble, I think. It's, at, it's definitely stone. And the shower. You know, the bathroom is really not that special, but this is bigger than a standard balcony cabin. So let me go back over here, and I just want to do this for another couple minutes because otherwise the I'm going to use up all my internet. Where can I put the phone that I don't look so... Geez, look at how bright and sunny I am. I'll go over here. So does anybody have any questions, anything you want to know about the experience so far before I sign off? I've got about a minute left. So quick, give me a question. What do you want to know? Morgan approved bathroom door. I didn't know there was any other type of door. Oh, Pam, you haven't been here for a while, have you? <laughs> uh, Jason Simons, what's for dinner? We're going to go to the Yacht Club restaurant and I'm going to have risotto. Uh, Nurse Betty wants to know, have I tried the food? Yes, we actually, we went to the normal buffet for uh, lunch and had some good food. But surprisingly enough, I haven't seen any pizza yet. And uh, we then had some snacks in the lounge here. I had some, posted pictures of it on Facebook. I had some arancini, which are fried like rice balls and some mozzarella balls with uh, sun-dried tomatoes that were um, like marinated in truffle oil. And it was fantastic. Um, Queet Beats here as well. I'm sorry, I can't scroll the comments back. And I just saw that a lot of people wrote, um, <laughs> wrote some things, so I missed them. Uh, what am I most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to just relaxing with Marcus. Um, John Hawkins, thank you so much for the, um, for the super chat. John, uh, John asked, is it worth the price of the upgrade so far? It's totally that's totally up to everybody to individually decide. What I can tell you is the service has been absolutely amazing. The food that we, the just the few things that we tried within the Yacht Club were really great. I ordered a glass of wine this afternoon and it was a an exceptional, an exceptional glass of wine. I think, um, yeah, I mean, the the towels are fantastic. It's definitely, it definitely feels exclusive. So if one thing that you're interested in is a very exclusive atmosphere, then definitely worth yeah, that. Where people try to sell stuff in the beginning, yes, definitely. But as soon as we said we're from the Yacht Club, they're like, okay, well, nothing I can sell you. All right, one or two more questions, and then I'm gonna to have to say goodbye before my internet runs out. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Uh, there aren't going to be a lot of videos from this trip, but I won't say that there won't be any videos and there's definitely going to be pictures. So make sure you check Facebook, Instagram, and my new, new-ish TikTok uh, to find those. And uh, like Lawrence said, make sure you like the video, everyone. And when uh, we're finished here, if you go back and write a normal comment on it, uh, you know, after it's just normal online, that would be great too. Thank you so much everybody for coming out here. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, including my dad, if you're watching this. I sent you a voice message, dad, but I hope, you know, maybe you see this too and just love you. And uh, yeah, everybody else out there, have a fantastic day and I will see you on Facebook and Instagram and otherwise on the very unofficial travel guides soon. And now I have to figure out how do I stop? Oh, how do I stop this? I'll give you a view from here while I try to end it. Here we go. Bye-bye, everybody.